Okay, it's such a nice day outside. Um, it's the second day of spring, so it's very sunny. It's also very a little bit windy, so hopefully the uh, wind noise won't uh, bother what I'm trying to do here. Uh, this past weekend I got to play uh, two gigs, and I bought two new items last week that uh, I want to do reviews on, and I thought it would be great to just... Uh, start by um, taking them out of my van from the gig last night and also um, do it in the sunlight out here where they can be seen better. So the first one is, there's that wind, the first one is this uh, guitar that I bought from uh, Tomon Music in uh, Europe and this is the, the Harley Benton guitar Thanks to the great review by Nick in the States and a few others, I bought one of these Harley Benton guitars that's sort of a takeoff of the um, PRS Custom 24. And I got to tell you, I didn't do anything to it. I just got it the other day. I did a very slight truss rod adjustment. Uh, maybe did a quarter turn on it. Uh, and then lowered the action a little bit. Didn't even change the strings. And went out and did two nights with it this past weekend. And it was great really great I gotta tell you the action on this thing came right down um, it's very low in fact it might be a little too low not that it's buzzing or anything but um, you know there's a certain feel that you want to get and I know it varies for every person but uh, I think I'm gonna draw uh, raise it up just a little bit um, just for my own preference. Beautiful top, beautiful woodwork. Uh, this is one thing I want to mention, the uh, vibrato arm. Uh, it's kind of strange when you get it. It doesn't seem like it wants to stay in, but uh, you put the vibrato arm in the hole, push it down, and then pull this down and back underneath here, there's an Allen screw to adjust the tension of the uh, that keeps the arm in. So, don't think that the arm will just fall out. It it doesn't. Just push this down, and right behind the uh, right back here, you'll see a an Allen screw that they give you the Allen wrench and you tighten it up, and it's fine. Now, I did do one thing on this guitar. Um, that I didn't mention. I had actually bought these for another guitar and I'm talking about the inlays on the neck. Anybody who has one of these guitars is going to notice immediately that it came with a dot neck. It didn't come with these what look like inlays. And they're not actually inlays. They're very thin uh, decals um, that I got from uh, a seller in Japan. I, as I remember, they were like $9 a set, and they stick very well. They're very thin. You don't feel them once they're on the neck. I don't feel them at all, and they look beautiful. Um, see if I can get close up on one here. They look great. So that was just something else I added to it, but it, the neck normally comes just as a, a, as a dot-type neck. Okay, well, the next video I do on this, I'll do a, uh, a video um, with, with sound, so you can hear what it sounds like, but uh, it sounds great. One more thing I should mention, that was the price. Uh, two good, good things about this um, was the price and the, and the uh, speed of shipping. I ordered the guitar and I had it within, I would say it was, took about six days 
to uh, reach New Jersey from Germany where it was shipped. So it came very quickly. I was real pleased about that. And uh, the price with shipping was $245. They charged $30 for shipping and the total price with shipping was $245. Um, these, Wil these Wilkerson pickups uh, are very nice. They're not some kind of cheap garbage. They actually sound very good. But you'll hear it in the uh, next video.